Hello friends, this video on basic geometrical ideas part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now when we talk about lines, there are two types of lines which we are going to discuss now. Now looking at this image, you can actually uh, see both the types of lines. One is parallel lines, the other is intersecting lines. Now here on the screen, you see the railway tracks. Right? So at certain points, you see that these two railway lines, they intersect each other, they cross over each other, they pass over one another. So that is an example of intersecting lines. Whereas in certain cases, they always run parallel with each other. That means the distance between the two lines always remain the same. So that is an example of parallel lines. So basically when two lines are located in such a way that the distance between the two lines remain the same throughout. They are called parallel lines and intersecting lines means the two lines will cross over each other. So that is intersecting lines. Let us understand in more details. Parallel lines, they will never meet. They will not meet ever. They do not meet and therefore they maintain the same distance between them. Look at this example. You have these two lines, line number one and line number two. Let's call this line number one. This is line number two. So you see when the distance between line one and line two remains the same throughout, in that case doesn't matter how far these two lines go, they are never going to meet each other because every time their distance, the distance between them will remain the same. So how will they meet? They will never meet. So therefore parallel lines, they never meet and they never appear to meet because the distance between them always remain the same. So these are called parallel lines. Let us talk about intersecting lines. So these lines have a common point. That is they tend to meet at some point. So let us say this is one line and this is another line. So what happens in this case? This is line number one, this is line number two. And both of them, the distance between them is not the same. For example, here at this point, the distance between line number one and line number two is this much. But at this point, the distance between line number one and line number two is only this much. So the distance is not same throughout. Again, if you look at this point, there is no distance between line number one and two because they are actually together. They have met at this point. Again, beyond this, the distance have again increased between line number one and two. So in this way, in case of intersecting lines, since the distance between the two lines do not remain the same throughout, that is why they tend to meet at a point or they tend to intersect at a point. So these lines are called intersecting lines. Now it is not always necessary that these lines will cross over each other. Now when you look at this, here you, what do you see? That the distance between the two lines is gradually reducing. So even if you do not actually see them meeting at a point, but you can actually guess from this that since the distance is gradually decreasing, so they appear to meet at a point. So in that case also, they will be considered as intersecting lines and not parallel lines. So in order to, for two lines to become parallel lines, it is most important that the distance between the two lines should remain the same throughout. Let us now look at some interesting examples of parallel and intersecting lines. So let us look at this table. So when you look at the opposite sides of the table, that is this side and this side, these are the two opposite sides of the table. So what do you think? Are they parallel or intersecting lines? Obviously they are parallel lines because the distance between the two lines remain the same throughout. So therefore the opposite sides are parallel sides, are parallel lines. Now when you look at the adjacent sides of the table, so when we look at the adjacent sides, what happens? This is this one and this one. These are the two adjacent sides. So this is one line and this is another line. So do you think that the distance between them remains the same? Now the distance between them is gradually increasing. So they are definitely not parallel lines, but they are intersecting lines. 
and do they have a common point yes of course because these two points meet these two lines meet at this point so they definitely have a common point so this is one example of an object where we see both parallel lines as well as intersecting lines in a similar way let us look at the almira so in a, in a, in a cupboard or an almira what happens again if you look at the adjacent sides that is this side and this side what are they they are again intersecting lines because they tend to meet at a point but when you look at the opposite side that is when you look at this side and this side the opposite sides what do you see you see that the distance between these two lines remain the same throughout so therefore the opposite sides are an example of parallel lines think of a stool like this look at the legs of the stool what do you say do you think that they are parallel lines not really because you know they are not straight they are kind of bending away from each other therefore the distance between them are gradually increasing away from each other so even though we do not see this three legs meeting at a point but then they appear to meet at some point it seems as if they might it is possible for them to meet at some point because the distance between them doesn't remain same throughout so therefore this is also an example of intersecting lines think of the window pane so in this case it is again on the similar lines as the table or the cupboard so can you tell me what about the opposite sides of the window pane are they parallel or intersecting of course they are parallel lines so in this fashion you can look at things around you and then decide where do you see parallel lines and where do you see intersecting lines Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.